Hi everyone, it's Suzanne here. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I haven't been on for quite a while, haven't been doing much crafting, but what I have done is um, make a snippet roll. My very first snippet roll, my first attempt. I'm not a great sewer, um, but I've had inspiration from um, watching a few people um, Sonia Steptoe and um, a few other people and I I really wanted to have a go at it um, so I'll just show you what I've made um, so I was rather ambitious probably I it's about five foot long the what my very first one I've ever made and I've just got it for now on an old dolly peg. Oh, that's, I'm not sure if that's what they're really called, but that's what um, we grew up calling them. Um, I am going to get a proper spool. I'll drive up Tambourine Mountain on the weekend, I think. And um, there's a beautiful little store up Tambourine Mountain that has the old... Um, spools and I might get one I think to keep this on so um, I'm really sorry about my lighting I just cannot get it right um, so this is about five foot long and um, I don't know how many inches wide about three two and a half to three inches wide and I just made it on the base of it is just this cream cotton it's quite thick um, I just tore it so that it was straight and then I used some pinking shears to do the edges and I, I did two strips exactly the same uh, width and length one to to sew all of the bits onto and then this one to cover up all of my stitches okay so this layer um, had so it started off with this then I put on some um, different material I just chopped it up into small pieces cut it up with my pinking shears and sewed it on with the sewing machine um, everything is sewn on I haven't glued things on and then I put different lace over the top of that and then I put on all of the different appliques flowers buttons all different things so I'll just show it to you I'm really sorry about the lighting. I'll try and get a bit closer. There we go. All right. So um, this was the first thing I chose to put on, and I believe there are four of them, four or five of them on this whole snippet roll. But I've used um, some little ribbon flowers. This here is um, from a chandelier drop. Uh, I've sewn a few of those on. I bought an old chandelier at a garage sale. Um, some seam binding bits of applique. Um, lots of different appliques. Bits of lace that I've cut up into different sections. Um, this is just beads that I've sewn on around in a circle. This button is from a shirt that um, belonged to my sister. I've got lots of um, vintage buttons, some beads up here. Sorry, I wasn't even looking to see if I'm on camera. Um, so here's some applique with sequins and beads love this little pink flowers um, another one 
another lovely ribbon flower. These are little um, like stone beads, these ones here. And there's the second one. So these are the ones that that, that kind of got me interested in doing um, the snippet roll in the first place. I've got these lovely flowers. Um, I'm not sure what they're called, like they're burnt. I'm not sure how they're made, but they're, I love them. And some a little tiny, tiny little ribbon rose, pink bead, this little rocking horse. Let me. That was given to me. My one of my friends um, gave me a button jar that used to belong to her mum. Um, and I just think it's so precious and I can't wait to to show her that I've used it on the snippet roll. So there's all kinds. I love the yellow butterflies. Another little button. This up here, I love this one. Um, it's just a trim of like lace and um, ribbon and beads together. Um, I wish my lighting was better. It's truly awful. It's another uh, applique. Here I've sewn on some beads. Not very well, I might add, but I gave it a go. And I think for my first try, it's it's not too bad. I'm happy with it. Um, it did take me quite quite a long time to do it and that's the other end so that's all of it all together um, so most it probably took oh probably a good 12 hours of hand stitching to to finish it um, but I did enjoy it it's been really hot here so it was kind of nice just to sit quietly and stitch away and then I just put it back on the dolly peg and roll it back on And that is that. So I hope you enjoyed having a look. Thanks. Bye.